Welcome to the Marie Wallace Theatre. Mary in... Wallace. Sorry? Mary Wallace is the name of the theatre. Yes, that's, that's what I said. Welcome to the Mary Wallace Theatre, where the Daniel Vale Theatre Collective is enormously proud to present one of the great theatrical moments of the age. Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, by General Lou Wallace. No relation to Marie Wallace. Mary. <laughs> Adapted by myself, Daniel Vale, and designed and choreographed and directed by Daniel Vale, also myself. We will be giving you a unique inside look into what happens inside the curtain and in the wings. And the big question is, to quote Shakespeare, to begin or not to begin? To begin, obviously. Now. This is a pet project of mine, uh, which I've dreamed about since I was a child. You may have heard of the film Ben-Hur. Some say uh, the greatest film ever made. It won 11 Oscars. Imagine that, 11. That's so much more than, um, say, six, for example. Uh, and uh, it puts it on a par with Avatar. It was that good. But what if, uh, what if I'd been involved? in uh, the 1959 film. Would it have been 12 Oscars? I'm not saying it would have, but, uh, but, but it, I mean, it probably would have. We are backstage here, looking down uh, at uh, entrance to uh, stage door, to uh, the ladies' dressing room, and uh, the, the gentlemen's dressing room. And now we proceed through this door, on to the stage where the magic happens. And as we look around, and we see the auditorium, which is um, it's actually uh, surprisingly small, isn't it? But it's, it's, not, it's not the size that counts. It's about putting a smile on the face of 100 people, or 17 people if, if opening night ticket sales are anything to go by. But nil desperandum, it's going to be fantastic. We will probably move that sofa. Directing is very much like acting, but instead of acting, you tell the actors what to do. And that's the process I use. As a Roman galley slave, wilt thou end thy days? Masala. No, no, it's not. It's more, it's more masala. It's more angry than, it's more angry than. We'll go again, we'll go again. As a Roman galley slave, wilt thou end thy days? Masala. No, Daniel, it's, it's got to come more from the heart. It's more... It's more furious than that. That's what you have to remember. It's more furious than that. As a Roman galley slave, will thou end thine days? Masala! I mean, that's almost it. That's all. But you've got to, you've got to become a Ben Hur. You are Ben Hur. You are. I am Ben Hur. I am Ben Hur. I am Ben Hur. Okay. As a Roman galley slave, will thou end thine days? I am Ben Hur. Oh no, wait. That's no. I don't, you put me off there. So we try this again. As a Roman galley slave, will thou end thine days? Masala! Oh, that was very good. But let's do it again. As a Roman galley slave, will thou end thine days? Masala! That's it. I think we got it there, guys. Okay. Well, I think what you were doing, but I, uh, that's fine. As long as you don't draw focus, because it's really about. You asked us to. Uh, well, you if want you could. Us in this scene, Daniel. Well, yes, I mean, it's key that you are there watching me. No, great work, guys, great work, guys. Omar, learn those lines, okay? Learn those lines. Right, uh, I think that's tea. Every rehearsal. This is every rehearsal. Oh, it's directing style. Um, Daniel's very committed. Um, yeah, he's uh, hmm, quite interested in team bonding, um, particularly in one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. Um, yeah, he's, he's got a very hands-on approach, which is, is lovely. Um, working with Daniel has been uh, an experience. Um, 
uh, he, he is passionate, to say the least, that, that cannot be taken away from him. He feels very invested in theatre. <laughs> He's written, written the play. Have you seen some of my lines? You cannot imagine just how hard I have to work to make them um, credible. Uh, and uh, indeed um, uh, readable um, and, and, and audible as far as the audience are concerned. Daniel, well, Daniel can speak for himself. Uh, I'm sure he has done at, at I, I, I don't really know how, how Daniel's got such a talented cast on board. It, it, it staggers me, the, the talent that he particularly has managed to convince to work with him. We uh, have uh, a cast of four, the, the lead role being played by, um, uh, by Daniel Vale. Um, that's, uh, that's myself. As for Daniel, well, um, the word that comes to mind is some um, megalomaniac, I, I, I suppose. Daniel as an actor uh, is just as committed uh, and thoughtful as he is as a director. Um, uh, he, again, is very particular about how he wants to act and about how he wants you to act opposite him. But uh, nonetheless, uh, he does have the contact, as I mentioned. He does have the, the drive, the ethos, um, and apparently a very, very uh, wealthy mother who uh, he promises is coming to see the show. So, um, Maybe um, being a single man again myself, <laughs> who knows what, um, what might happen uh, over the course of the uh, <laughs> run of the show. You see what I mean. Uh, we have Crystal Singer taking on uh, the, the role of the, the beautiful young lover. You may recall uh, the young lover from the, uh, the Ben-Hur film. Uh, I think that uh, they, they have uh, potential, particularly um, young, young Crystal. Um, I think that she could um, she could go all the way. Oh, it's a it's a great opportunity for me. Um, I, I'm loving all my roles. Um, it's great great team, obviously. Um, and every other theatre is closed, so uh, yeah, I'm really happy to be here. Working with Crystal has been wonderful. She's uh, incredibly talented, and, and she's going to go on to do really wonderful things. And I can't wait to be be watching and, and cheering her on uh, from the sidelines. Yeah, all, all the rest of the cast are great. You know, Ed, Edgar's, um, you know, had a great career. He's, he's been doing it for such a long, long time. Um, so I'm really learning a lot from him, obviously. Obviously, I think they, they, they look up to me because I am the, um, the, the, the senior uh, statesman. Uh, no, no pun intended, but a fame part of uh, <laughs> Pontius Pilate and, uh, and Quintus Arius and so on. Oh, Edgar T. Chesterfield. What? I mean, a man who needs no introduction, so I'll, I, I'll introduce him as uh, one of the finest actors of his generation. So much he can teach us. Uh, and yet, of course, there's so much that I've now taught him, which is a, a nice uh, juxtaposition. Ed Edgar is a, a, a phenomenal actor with, with the experience he's got. Um, you, you can tell that, that when he was younger, he, he would have been a wonderful sort of titan of, of the stage. Uh, the way he commits to, to ev everything he does on stage is, is admirable, and, and d despite the advice of his doctors. Truth to say, I actually haven't had much of a, much of a run of success recently. Uh, in fact, the last play I was in was, um, was longer ago than, uh, than I'm prepared to admit uh, in front of a camera. <laughs> uh, and uh, finally, we have a, a young, up-and-coming actor, uh, Omar Lord. Uh, he's been on television. Uh, daytime television, um, where he's been uh, very well received, uh, I understand. Um, highly regarded young man, very, very sort of pretty. Um, but uh, you don't win any awards for, for acting on television, do you? Well, I, I suppose you might, I don't know. Yeah, Omar is fantastic, as I'm, I'm sure you'll all, you'll all see when you, when you come and see it. Um, yeah, we're having a great time. As for Omar, Omar I, I am I'm very, very fond of. Um, I, I think he will, uh, he will go well, and the fact that, um, that uh, I know his father um, and we belong to the same lodge is, is neither, neither here nor there. Um, and uh, I have absolute confidence that, uh, that, that a year from now that he will no longer be involved in... Um, was it um, Pobbly Coombe? Is it the, the Welsh daytime TV? I, I, I 
not sure I'm pronouncing that <laughs> correctly. Uh, a, a wonderful group, and we're very excited. Daniel has taken on many roles in, in this production, not, not just on stage, but, but backstage as well. And his choreography has been the most novel of those roles he's taken on. One of the key early scenes of Ben-Hur, A Tale of the Christ, uh, by General Lou Wallace, adapted by Daniel Vale, is a scene involving the riding of camels. Now, for this rehearsal, we will be using horses, but uh, in, uh, in the eyes of an actor, uh, a hobby horse could easily be uh, a camel or uh, uh, any other quadruped, or even a biped if needs must. And so what we're going to observe now is how the director choreographs a camel riding scene. Follow me. Right, chaps, here we go. Watch and learn. You mount the camel, thus, and we're going to ride it like so. Good care to give that a try. I wonder if, if you could just bind it with two hands. Oh, that is just wonderful. That's... Okay. You can't teach that, you can't teach that. Natural. So here we go again. It's the riding camels. Riding camels. Riding camels. Can follow me. Oh my, follow me. What I'm doing. Watch watch them. Riding camels. Oh my, please. I wish you'd just watch. I mean, look, um, this is how it is done. Ed, I only demonstrated for 10 seconds and Edgar's got it already. I'm actually getting quite tired. <laughs> Ed, I wonder if you could demonstrate uh, for Omar, please. What I just did? Yes, please. Uh, okay, right. Watch both eyes, please. Both uh, eyes. Okay, um, was it, uh... Edgar, thank you so much. That's, that's wonderful, that's wonderful. So it's... it's His left. head seems to be spinning round. <laughs> well, we totally won't worry about that. We won't be a horse all day. So it's left and right. Left and right. Left and right. Left and right. It's, it's, it's left, right. then right. right. It's not right, then left. That's what he was doing. Okay. I'm, 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 so I can show me what, what my yes, answer is. Just follow. That's probably the best thing if you just if you just follow. But pay, do listen yeah. and use use both your ears. Okay. Here we go. So it's, yeah. it's yeah. left, then right, left, like this. Uh, the choreography is complex. Uh, when you have a chorus line of three, uh, there is so much more you have to do than if you have, say, a chorus line of. Uh, 12 or, or 15 or, or one of those higher numbers uh, and uh, fortunately I was schooled uh, in a, 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 almost a, an entire NVQ uh, in theatrical studies which did include um, a, a one week session on um, dancing uh, but mostly uh, just in the afternoons um, and I've managed to hone some of those uh, traditional theatrical skills with more street dance, uh, more popular with uh, the, the youth and some of the kids out in uh, the ghettos and the hoods. And I think people are going to be very surprised. And uh, I, I'm disappointed that uh, they didn't invite me to be in the, the sand dance because, in fact, um, I knew personally um, the the uh, the daughter of uh, I can't remember whether it was Wilson Keppel or, or, or Betty, but 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 one of them anyway, um, who uh, as you may know originated the uh, the, the sand dance uh, on, on on stage. Um, I'm impressed with this dance. I have to say, and I'd be very very surprised if Daniel had anything to do with it. I think when you're doing a production like Ben Hur, it's, it's set in these far off places, Nazareth and Rome and. Uh, the middle of the Mediterranean Sea. When you're in a rehearsal room, it it feels hard to imagine quite the settings you're in to, to really feel where you are. Uh, so the most magical part of the process for me was stepping into the theatre and, and seeing the sets and, and the props. And uh, it just felt so lifelike for me. I felt like I was there in the middle of a sea battle. I felt like I was there in an amphitheatre with chariots racing around. The, the grapes taste well. We even saw... Not, not to give too much away, but, but there is, is a, a miniature version of, of me and, and it's, it's very lifelike. Yeah, the bit where, where we sort of slap Daniel about is, is quite good. You know, obviously in character. Um, yeah, when, when he's chained up, that's, yeah. 
yeah, that's that's quite a good bit. Um, there should be more of that in there, really. But um, you know, no, he didn't. He didn't want that. Well, the highlight of the uh, the rehearsal period for me was the um, the ten days uh, where I wasn't uh, when I wasn't here. <laughs> Otherwise, just sitting back, watching Edgar T. Chesterfield craft his work uh, and then telling, telling him how to do it uh, you know, a bit better, that's been wonderful.